Uh, that's two in a row and now you're off to a flying start. Yeah, um, you know, it's, everyone knows it's, it's hugely, uh, hugely competitive and um, we know the team's coming down here, they're going to, um, they're going to be coming down and chomping at the bit to see if they can kind of stop us. But um, yeah, we prepare well, you know, and we, we, um, we don't get ahead of ourselves and we put in the, the work during the week, so I think it's um, just reward them when we perform on a, on a Friday night. like. Were you frustrated after the first half? Uh, yeah, possibly. Yeah, you know the conditions weren't great, like so. It's um, looked a bit slippy it, out there, was it? Yeah, it was slippy, and then like the ball's in the air, you're judging it, and it's getting caught up. So headers are miscued, and then you've uh, you've people getting on the second balls, then possibly nearly getting a chance off them, like you know. But um, yeah, we were frustrated, and then we came in, John had a chat with us, and uh, we went back out in the second half, and um, I think we executed what we need to do, and then we got the win. Talk us through your goal. Ah, just uh, just come on to it, you know, just trying to, I suppose, it's easier to, to sit off, you know, and just oh, I'll leave the boys, get up the pitch, so I'm, I try and get into the box now, uh, just pick up good positions, really, and um, luckily enough it fell to me and just side-footed in, you know, it was grand. And Gary's goal as well, I mean, it was a great finish, but a great ball in from Kieran. Yeah, a uh, great finish by Bucks, you know, Bucks is brilliant at getting in them areas, he's always, uh, he's always, possible to, to get a couple of goals, you know, with the, the positions he picks up. And Sad's, um, uh, for me, like, possibly the best player in the league, you know. The, his his set-piece delivery, his just crosses in general, everything. Um, um, he's second to none, I think, you know, really. So, uh, fair play to him, yeah. Garoud, was it a target of yours this season to try and get more goals? Uh, yeah, 100%. Um, I suppose I tried last season and I got more than the previous season, so... Um, I'll do the same now this season, try notch it up another one one or two maybe. And when the ball fell to you, like, was there a kind of a, a temptation to just put the foot through it like rather than or placing it like is that something you, you worked on? Uh no, not not really worked on, I suppose just in just in the moment, um just making a split decision, like you said, you you could decide to right, maybe a bit of panic might set in to put the foot through it. But um you just kinda I suppose when you're relaxed and which I was, um you can make a good decision, which I did so I was happy enough with that. Left leg? Uh, left leg, yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, throughout the season, I always seem to get one or two with the left leg, so, I'm, yeah, happy enough to take it. Get out there, a lot of ball in, in the first half. Um, it's, it's unusual for you to be dominant like that. Were, like, was the instruction from John at half time to push up a few yards? Because they, they had a lot of the ball, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they did. And um, I suppose it was really, yeah, we, um, not to give them too much respect, I suppose, but just the way the game seemed to go, it just seemed to develop like that and um second half we came in half time, John had a word with us about that, like, you know, we went out second half then and we were saying, Right boys, let's push right up here and because I think even when we had the ball in the first half, we weren't really uh penetrating, you know what I mean? And second half then we came out I thought whenever we got the ball wide or you know, I think we looked like scoring. Um, I think that was the difference from the first half really for us. Mm, you can see the confidence there, obviously, as champions, that you're going to get goals, nine goals in three matches, and that's not a bad return, is it? Yeah, I think, um, like when you, like you said, like the likes of Karen Sadley or Gary Buckley, these fellas and John, that's who aren't even playing today, Cummins and, and them, you know, um, I think we're going to get goals where um, we're, uh, we're very threatening. I think the way we play, um, there's no team really, I don't think, there's, there's not a team in the league that, if we're at it, I don't think they could shut up shop and really stop us scoring, you know, I think, um, like you said, no, we have a good confidence and I believe I believe we'll score every week in, week out, like, you know. And the squad, is it as strong, do you think, this year as last year? I think so, yeah, you have the likes of Barry McNamee there coming in, Aaron and another few, and uh, I think they've been really, there's really strong additions, you know what I mean, um, they've definitely kicked us on, kicked us on a level, you know, um, as opposed to staying the same as last year or whatever, I think we've we've moved on a level, you know, so... I think um, I'd say we're stronger, yeah. What's the general goals? feeling inside the camp, Gar, when you when you take a look at what's going on around? I mean, tonight now, second game, two win, two wins, over six thousand people at the cross tonight, record season ticket sales. I mean, it's it's phenomenal what's happening in the club at the moment, isn't it? It is, and to be fair, um, credit to you know to John when he's come in and the, the staff he's brought in, and Cots and all that, and all the lads who've come in with him. Um, Every year I've been here, it's been absolute push for progression. You know, always looking how can we be better, and um, 
John, like John, would get in the morning before everybody. You know what I mean? He'd probably be going home before everybody in the in the evening. You know, so they really do. Uh, as well as on the pitch, I think off the pitch we do try our best to progress. And since I've since I've been here when John and them come in, um, it's been a progression year after year. You know, even if it was only slight or marginal, um, it's definitely progressing the whole time. So um, I think that's that's that follows it. Then you know, good crowds, ticket sales, you know, the rest of it. Like so. Um, yeah, there's, but the general feel is uh, really positive. And with yourself and Buck scoring tonight, that's six scorers. Like in the first three games, nine goals. It's a great spread, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Um, like Sean, he was doing a lot <coughs> last year, but yeah, yeah. I think, um, yeah. Look, if 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 one man just kept putting the ball in there constantly, you'd be saying a fair play. You know what I mean? But um, it is great that you know that if it falls to another guy and or someone on on the day, someone's just not. Getting the look at it, the bounce or whatever, um, another guy would step in, you know, he'll put the ball in the net. So it is, you'd be really happy from that point of view to see that um, there's it's there's a good spread of scorers, like, yeah. And you've got the slide, which is the last one, Gar, and they have a good, good enough record against you. I mean, they're a hard side to, to beat, and they won tonight. Yeah, you know, it's funny, like, teams will play us, and um, they'll they'll play us, and they'll have a great game against us, and they, they'll be going away from or across or, like, sliding up there. Um, People be saying they're a great team, and then the following week they'll go and lose, be spanked three 0 to some team who's nowhere near them. You know what I mean? So um, it's uh, smart, it's, but it's, it's, I suppose it, that comes with the territory of being champions. Everybody wants to have a go at you, and um, Sligo in particular, yeah, they really do like to try and put it up to us. But we we've done our work, and we'll continue to do it for the weekend now, and go up there and um, yeah, try and try and get the three points.